What's up guys? It's your girl Jewel here with my healthy lifestyle chain. How are y'all doing? Look, January always seems like a long ass month. Like it always seems like why is January taking so long? And I'm honestly not complaining that January is taking a long time. However, I'm starting to feel the effects of January actually being a long month. And it's only 31 days, right? But it's just like, all right. January has January enough. <laughs> Let's move on, okay? So I had a meltdown the other day and I was just boohooing and crying. And I mean, I had the snot bubbles coming out my nose. It was disgusting. And it almost felt like a rock bottom. And I knew it wasn't like a total rock bottom or a rock bottom that I have had in the past. But it got me to thinking about E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. And he says, you're going to have a couple of rock bottoms on this journey called life. Right? You're going to hit rock bottom more time than once. It's And these are like things that we know right like we know life is a journey we know things happen and life is never ever ever flawless okay and on this journey especially on a journey to becoming and wanting more wanting to do more wanting to be more it's hard it's hard and it's rough and I found myself boo-hooing and I just didn't know why I was boo-hooing. I just said, I'm so unhappy. I'm, I'm just, I'm not sad, I'm just unhappy. And usually when you're unhappy, it's because you are thinking you should be somewhere you're not, thinking you should have more than you don't or more than you do. Think, comparing yourself to other people Whatever it may be, you are living in a state of lack when you're unhappy where you are. Because if you're happy with where you are, it doesn't necessarily mean you're satisfied or comfortable or okay with being there. But when you're happy, genuinely happy where you are, you are living in abundance and not lack. And so I immediately shifted my mindset and I'm like, dude, relax because you're doing the most. And the only reason you're saying you're unhappy is because you're not achieving something. You're not doing something. So the book that I'm currently reading, which I took a pause on reading it because I was feeling so down and the book was making me feel a little more down. So I just took a pause. It's called The Art of of not giving a fuck or how to not give a fuck. I think it's the art of not giving a fuck. Something like that. I'll post the book below, but he talks about how not necessarily that you shouldn't care about goals or becoming or, you know, and I'm just at the beginning, so I don't know how it ends, but for what I have read, it's not necessarily about you not caring about anything. It's just not giving your cares to things that don't matter. Not giving your fucks to things that are not important or relevant. The guy in the book talked about how most people live a life that they're unhappy with because they think that they're supposed to be living some other life. And I mean, he really puts it in perspective of everybody is on this let's be great let's be great let's be great do better do more go further like everyone has this agenda like everyone's an empowerment speaker uh everyone is working to break generational curses and generational wealth and in my opinion that's okay i don't have any problem with it but what the guy made very clear in the book to me was that everybody not gonna make it 
everybody not gonna be great and if everybody ends up this extraordinary person then that literally takes away from the definition of being extraordinary and so i realized i'm like jewel i don't want to live in a life of lack i don't want to feel like i don't have i don't want to be unhappy where i am and usually when i feel like i'm hitting rock bottom or feel like i'm going through some trauma or feel like i'm i need to have a cry is because i'm not doing something that i'm supposed to be doing and that's what he talks about in the book as well he says if you go through trauma, emotional pain, if you're crying, if you wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., have a headache, you know, anything that you're going through that you're experiencing, you're supposed to take something from that. And you're supposed to do something. And so it clicked and it hit me immediately, y'all. And I have been working on shifting my mind in the situation. Immediately when I was in that situation, I was like, whoa, I don't have to cry right now. I'm actually okay. And you know what? This is a learning moment. One, because I just told myself I was unhappy because I'm coming from a place of what I don't have. Let's talk about it. Let's work through this emotion that I'm feeling right now. What is it that I lack? What is it that I don't have that I feel like I should have? And how about we address that? And if it's something that we can go get, let's get it. And if it's something that's out of our reach and we can't get, then we need to learn to live with that and let that go. Either way, this moment of tantrum where I'm crying and feeling as if the world is coming to an end, it's really unnecessary. And y'all, when it hit me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Whoa, I could have been doing this my whole entire life. And it's not that easy. And I don't think every time I have a meltdown, it's going to be that easy. But in that moment, I, I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to be sad. I didn't want to feel sorry for myself. I just wanted a change. I just wanted something different. If I want something different, do something different. And it doesn't take me losing my mind and crying all it takes is me sitting down coming up with a plan working the plan and being patient that's all it takes i have to learn the patience of getting where i want to go because everything that i want i am working on so i have to learn the patience to, of getting there and that's what i sometimes mess up is I lose my patience and then I start crying and I lose my mind. Another thing that I learned from my meltdown was the life I'm living is not the life of my dreams. Now, that's not to say my life isn't great. What dawned on me was there's so many goals that I have and there's so many things that I want out of life. I get overwhelmed sometimes because I put a lot of pressure on myself to hit goals constantly. So that's a problem. But what I mean by is I'm not living the life of my dreams is I know what I want and the more I procrastinate on certain important things, the least likely I'll get what I want out of life. And it hit me that that's why I feel the way I feel because I'm afraid I'm not gonna become who I wanna be in life. I mean, I went deep, y'all. Like, I was I was therapy for myself. Like, I was like, we're getting to the root. And as I'm melting down and as I'm coming back to earth, I'm like, okay, Jewel, what do you want? What do you want? And so I realized, and all this week and last week, pretty much this month, I've been going through ups and downs of emotions. Because there are things that I need to do that I'm not doing when it comes to personal life. There are goals that I have that I'm putting on hold and pause 
when I should be actually working on it. And it dawned on me that I want something new. I want a transition. I want I want to do something else. I want to do something else. I don't know what it is just yet. I plan to figure it out. I realized I was bored with what I was doing. And now that I know that, I'm going to actively pursue trying to do something else. Um, <clears throat> because... It's, I'm in a transition period and I, I'm and I'm not not just bored with my job or bored with my hobbies like no I'm literally bored like I'm, I'm, I'm yawn fest like with myself I don't know if that makes sense and if anyone has ever been bored with themselves before but I think when I say that I mean like okay I wake up I say I'm gonna do this this this, this, this. I have like a hundred goals and I hit like two right I'm bored with that. I'm tired of like it's I'm tired of that same narrative, tired of going through that same thing over and over and over again. And I don't know if you've been with me since 23 for 23, there was a video where I said, How many times are you gonna keep seeing the same thing over and over and over again? So not just tired of me not hitting my goals, but tired of having that goal on the list. How many years is that same goal gonna be on the list? Like that same goal, like you said you want this, 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 this. And it's been on the list about 10 years now. Now, stuff, don't get me wrong, stuff takes time, and I know that. I'm, I'm very aware of that. But certain things on my list have been on my list for so long, and I'm just like, do I even want those things anymore? Like, we should look at the goal list and reevaluate. And so I came to the conclusion after thinking about all of this, realizing I'm coming from a place of lack because I'm unhappy, realizing that if I want something, all I have to do is calm down, come up with a plan, work on it to get it, and realizing the deeper root of my unhappiness is that I'm bored, I decided I want to reinvent myself. I want a brand change. I'm not talking about content. I'm talking about jewel see the jewel that you guys see i want her to be so different that when y'all see me y'all say damn i don't even know who that girl is is that her that's jewel i'm not talking about physical change i'm talking about inner change i want to cleanse me from the inside out. I want to be made new, y'all. And I don't know just yet how I'm going to get to this place that I imagine for myself, this brand change that I imagine for me. But I do know that I gotta do it. I do know that there's a shift in my atmosphere. I do know that I have blessings that are coming my way. I do know that I've been given a vision that only I can fulfill. And I now know that that needs to be my sole focus. And so whether that's healing, whether that's releasing people, whether that's picking up something new, starting a new routine, whatever it is, I got to get rid of the conflict within, within my, myself. The conflict has to go. Therefore, I got to go through a transitional period to something else so i know that was real real dramatic <laughs> but i'm reinventing myself y'all i'm reinventing myself and it's so time and i so feel it and 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I want something new. I want something fresh. I just... And, it, and another thing it could be is the weather has been so blah. And, and I've been kicking seasonal effectors this order. But this year, and I don't know, maybe last week and uh, two weeks ago. And last week it just was a little shaky with the weather. Then my cycle came on. So I'm hormonal and I'm just freaking out. And I did my best to not freak out. It was about the last day of my cycle when I really started to freak out. Um, but it could be a mesh of all of that, but I do know it's coming from a place that was already there. It has nothing to do with the hormones and nothing to do with the weather. And I'm learning to, let's get to the root of what's going on. Like, it's not just the weather that's making you sad. What else is making you sad, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I'm reinventing myself Give me some time to figure out exactly what I'm going to do to reinvent myself. Because I'm going to share that with you guys. But I know for sure, your girl, before the end of this year, is going to be made over and made new. So, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you're in a transition period in your life. If you feel like you need to rebrand, whether that be content, whether that be personal life, uh, whether that be spiritual life, whatever it is, if you need to reinvent yourself, please let me know. If you've ever gone through a rebranding or a reinvention of yourself, let me know how it went and give me some tips on what to do because y'all, I'm telling you, there's a shift going on. There's a, the Lord is telling me, up, get. Up, get. If you're from the South, you know. Up, get. The Lord is telling me, come on. Come on now. Come on. And I got to listen. So I'm listening. And I am going to move. So you guys comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it. We are going to get through this transitional period together and i will see you guys in my next video bye